We are live from my backyard where I am smoking these meats, meat like a brisket. I'm making meats now. Someone asked me, do I smoke meats? That's gonna be delicious. Yeah, I smoke meat, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Welcome to East Texas Red Barn Cooking with your guy, Texas Tea. See here. Get ready. It's time to do some cooking, y'all. Good afternoon, everyone. So it's Thanksgiving time. Time to start preparing whatever we're going to take to our Thanksgiving feast. And I've always been nominated as the deviled egg guy. I make a bunch of different flavors. Not sure yet what I'm going to do this time, <clears throat> but. One of my favorite YouTube guys has shown me a way to uh, smoke, smoke eggs. So we're going to make smoked deviled eggs using my old farm fresh eggs. Now, you, you don't want them too fresh because it makes them harder to peel. You know, if they're a week or so, two weeks old, uh, they peel, and that's any egg, it feels a lot easier. If they're too fresh, that's when it all breaks up and hard, hard to get feeling from. So anyway, uh, that's what we're going to do. We're going to smoke a ham also. And uh, we're going to smoke these things. So, stay tuned. Now to smoke eggs, if you want to have smoke in your eggs, you boil them first actually. Just like you would any boiled egg. You get them boiled up. Because if you smoke them with the shell on, you obviously will not get the smoke inside. And we want the smoke inside of this egg. So uh, we're going to boil them first, then we're going to peel them before we put them on the smoker. Okay, now we've got our eggs all boiled up and uh, cooled down. Throw them in a uh, pot of ice water. Get them to cool down and we're just going to peel these babies up. And uh, we're gonna smoke these suckers. So, nice breeze. Hold on, one of these eggs. That's what I'm talking about right there. All right. Pretty white egg right now. Hoping that smoke's gonna make it real pretty and brown. We shall see. So I smoked these for 20 minutes at 250 degrees. I think these are gonna make some pretty cool, pretty cool deviled eggs. All right, we got a short amount of time before pie is ready. So we got this egg stuff going on now. Two different kinds. On this side, I've got a, a, a dilled, uh, damn. Dilled ham deviled eggs. On this side is a bacon ranch deviled egg. And uh, I almost forgot my bacon. But it's all right. It's all right. I use these real soft, real bacon bits. All right, so on this first one, I'm going to put a little bit of a, got egg yolks already in there. A little over a third of a cup of mayo. Get it done real quick, like, and then we get that pie out of the oven. Get that thing cooling down. I gotta make a trip. And I got to hurry. My daughter's been ringing my phone off the hook. All right. And uh, let's see here. All right. We got a half of a, half a teaspoon of dill weed. Put in there. No, you cannot smoke it. And a finely chopped Black Forest ham. And that's what's going to that batch. Made this before, very good. This uh, other batch of our ooh, bacon ranch, 
We're gonna have a cup of mayo. And where there you go. Half a teaspoon of mustard. We should get all that out. That is not very much. I may actually add a little more of that. I don't know. Not this moment. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. Half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Two teaspoons of ranch, that powdered ranch mix. Make dips and ranch dressing out of whatever. Two tablespoons of that. And I had some onion powder out there somewhere. I somehow lost. You know, I have half, of, uh, half a teaspoon of onion powder going in that too. And then, and I don't even know what baking is. What was the baking bits in there? And that much. That much. All right. Then what we're gonna do? Make this stuff really good. I don't beat it. I don't fork it. I don't whisk it. I beat it. That way it's nice and smooth and creamy. And uh, as soon as we get that all nice and creamy, we're gonna squirt these things inside these eggs. Show you the little trick I use. So I gotta grab, grab that pie. Find out what I did with my onion powder. And uh, we'll do it too. All right, so I've got one of these egg recipes whipped up real, real nice and whipped. And I'm gonna do like they do with the cake things. Put a Ziploc bag, fold the ends down so it didn't caught up in the zipper a couple of times. Pack that baby full of that egg, egg stuff. We'll cut off the end of this uh, Ziploc bag. Cause they want these things to be pretty. I, I'm not gonna spoon them back in there. I've done that before, whatever. Yeah, they're not real pretty. So we're gonna do it like they do the cake. We're gonna fill the eggs up real nice and slow. So they look pretty. It's not just about taste. Presentation. So we're gonna do half of them with this, half of them with the other uh, recipe and uh, sprinkle some paprika on it. Voila, there you go. That's how we do here at the Red Barn. Cool little idea. Well, folks, we are finished. Ham is smoked. Eggs, done. Pies are done. That's my portion of it. So, got family that are blowing my phone up, text messages and calls, wonder where I'm at. We always have a pre-party. Night before our holidays, you know, we have a little party beforehand, so they're waiting on the life of the party to show up. But when you got a J-O-B and you got to do all this cooking, sometimes I run a little late. So, uh, next up, I always have a lot left over. That's quite a bit left over, always. Throw it away. Or you do like I do, I'll spread that on some toast. Throw it in a little toaster oven. Woo! Man, it's good stuff. But uh, throw some paprika on these, and uh, I'm getting ready to shut it down and head west. That's about all I got. Uh, you know, it's uh, Thanksgiving Eve, and I'd like to thank you all for watching, if you watched. Uh, if you liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you really like it, subscribe, hit that bell. And uh, you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving. And God bless you and your family. And here we go. I do want to add that I do recommend beating and whipping the egg yolks until they're nice and, and whipped. I'm telling you, it makes a difference. And... Uh, to me, it makes them so much more better. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.